afternoon. My name is Rachel. I'm one of the social media ambassadors. I've been studying business and finance and I've just completed my first year. I'm Tom. I've just graduated from the business school and I was doing BA business. Hiya. So for everyone, who are you and what's your role within the university? Okay, um, my name is Will Fleming and um, I'm a senior lecturer in marketing at the Swansea Business School. And um, I have been involved in a number of different posts with uh, regards to looking after students. Um, but at the moment, I'm mainly involved with international students. Interesting. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, so, do you have a particular area of interest or expertise? I do, Tom. Um, and as you know, yes, because you've been um, in my classes. I have. Is that um, marketing's my area? Yeah. Um, it's something that I've I've actually worked in as a practitioner as well as being a, a lecturer. So, uh, yeah, that's my area, marketing. So, what you love about marketing? Well, what's kept you in the marketing role then? Um, the 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 reason why I like marketing so much is the fact that it's um. It's an area that involves customers. And involving customers, I would say to you, it's really at the heart, it's at the center of the business. And uh, what I found is, is that when I was working, that the job that I did was always interesting, it was always varied, there was always something new, always something different. It's not a, a sort of standard nine to five job. Sometimes you may be able to finish early, but other times you have to work late and you maybe have to do weekends. and. Um, and working evenings and that, but I actually enjoyed all of that because it made the job so much, so much more varied than uh, than a sort of standard admin type, dare I say, it, accountants type <laughs> job. Mm. So where did you yeah. sort of work before then? What was this job you talking about? Um, I, um, I've had a number of jobs um, in marketing. I first started off in British Gas in Edinburgh, as you can tell. Obviously, <laughs> not a local boy. And um, I started off in marketing planning and marketing research, which was really interesting and it fitted in with my studies and what I was doing and the areas that I was interested in. But um, I also wanted to get outside and find out more about, about working in marketing. So I had the opportunity then of coming down from Scotland down to Wales. And I've been really, really lucky. You know, I've had cracking jobs. Um, I came down as the first ever commercial manager for Neath Rugby Club. I then went on to Swansea City and I was a commercial manager for Swansea City. I then moved from there to Buckley's Brewery in Thanetley as a marketing services manager. And then before coming in to being a lecturer, I had finished up at SA Brain and Company as a free trade marketing manager. So I've had fantastic jobs, oh, yeah, being in football. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, how did you end up becoming a lecturer then, here? Um, well, I was really lucky, Tom, i got to say. Um, you know, I was in a... I, I probably made my own luck because I had started off by doing a bit of part-time lecturing. When I was at Swansea City, um, what I found was that my, my salary was a basic, a basic salary plus a commission. And at that time, Swansea City weren't doing as well as they're doing now. So um, I had to supplement my income and I was able to come along and do classes at times where other people probably couldn't, you know, so I could do a two to three class in the afternoon, whereas most people who were working would want to do an evening class seven to eight. So it worked out really well for me. I got started and I really liked it. I then did some night classes at um, Neath College and Gower College. Um, but uh, one day, uh, my colleague who I was working with had had a look at the Western Mail and he said, uh, Well, uh, Swansea Institute are looking for a lecturer in marketing. And I said, Oh, it's going to be temporary. And he said, No, it's permanent. I said, Oh, part time. He said, No, full time. So mm -hmm. when everyone left the office, I quickly yeah. cut the advert out yeah. and applied for it. And I was fortunate enough to get it. So yeah. it worked out really well for me. So, what do you think a prospective student could do now to prepare for when they come to university? Um, I think, as much as anything, it's probably the mental side of things, Rachel. You know, it's to get themselves ready and be prepared for the fact that um, they, they need to attend all of their classes. Um, I've seen a lot of information that's around with regards to the correlation between 
attendance and performance. And the students who don't turn up to the classes tend not to get the high marks. The students who do come along to the classes do tend to get the higher marks. So I would say, you know, an attitude of mind, going to go to all the classes and make sure you do that. If you've got that as a foundation, I think you should be, you should be able to do well. Um, after that, if there's one skill that I would recommend that any student um, learns and develops, it would be referencing. Um, it's very important to the staff that when assignments are being done is that students are using the, the different sources and making sure that they actually acknowledge that that is someone else's work. So, big skill is if you haven't done referencing before at FE, is start to learn about it. Wherever there's any classes, if there's any study support or anything, that would be the area I would suggest to them to pick up. The better you are at referencing, the better you do at university. Definitely. So with that in mind then, uh, with all the new students coming in, what would you say to them? What words of advice would you give them coming in now? My advice would be to come along and enjoy it. You know, I really think that the staff here are really keen for you to have and for students to have a good time. Um, but bearing in mind the fact that there's a lot of work to be done as well. So if you like, it's that old adage of work hard, play hard. Mm. And if you can get that combination right, I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time at university. Brilliant, yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Will. Thank you very no much. No problem. Much appreciated. Hope it helps. <laughs>